Hey there, this tutorial is part of my game maker course on Udemy, the link is in the description. Hey there, in this lecture you will learn about objects and events. In the previous lecture, I told you that objects could be programmed to do certain things. So now let me tell you how that is done. Let's say we have an object. You can add actions inside that object to make it do certain things. For example, you can add an action to make the object move to the right. So using an action, you're telling your object to move. But along with the action itself, the object also needs to know when the action should be run. For example, you may want it to run only once so that it moves to the right only once. Or you may want it to keep running so that it keeps moving. Or you may want it to run only when the right arrow key is pressed so that it runs based on the player input. So this is where events come in. Using events, you can basically control the timing of the actions. So actions are always put inside events and the events control when their actions run. So now let's switch over to GameMaker. I'll go to the resource bar and create a new object. I start my object names with a lowercase o. And then comes the name. Now this is the object editor. You can assign a sprite to the object from here. Now this is the events window, so you can add your events here. So I'll click on add event and add the create event. Now this is the actions window, so you add your actions here. Now back in the events window, we added the create event. This event runs only once and that's when the instance starts working in the game. So all the actions inside it will run only once as well. Then we have the step event. This event always keeps running as long as the instance is in the room. So it runs every frame of each second. Games in Game Maker run at 60 frames per second. So in each second, there are 60 steps the game goes through. So the step event basically runs 60 times in one second. So any actions you put inside it will keep running as well. And now we have the draw event. This event is the same as the step event, but in this event, you can use the drawing actions to draw something like a sprite or some text. Now let's move on to the next lecture where we learn about using actions.